Hey guys, uh, welcome to Sun Insurance uh, Logistics. Today I'm talking about the trucking business. The trucking business is really become very terrible. It's not easy to get roads these days and uh, don't know what's going on. You're out there, let me know what's going on. A cargo van like this one, it's really hard to get a load. But uh, it's better than a street truck because you can dead end easily than um, a street truck. But uh, we're talking about uh, 94 cents a mile for this uh, cargo van. And uh, it's really getting hard, I mean, uh, getting tough. Uh, I thought the economy was going to be better so that the trucking can come back, but things are getting worse and worse. So I don't know if the small companies are competing with the big companies. And if the customers, they have their own uh, uh, trucking uh, fleet, which usually take uh, a lot out of uh, their warehouses to supply them to the other customers. Uh, we're really trying to figure out, but as it is of now, there is a big hassle. And uh, I don't know what you think, you guys out there, but uh, let me know your comments below this video. Wherever you are watching from, uh, where you do your business, are you getting loads or what is the situation looking like? Right now, it's not even um, it's not even a winner. You don't have anything on the ground, but um, it's getting really tough to get the loads. A truck that this one has been sitting uh, in the parking lot for some, quite some time. Uh, because even if you hire a driver, it's going to be very tough to pay the driver. Because uh, if you are paying on a percentage, it's going to be pretty tough to maintain, uh, to do things like uh, gas, uh, pay for the, I mean the fuel, the tolls, pay the driver, and other miscellaneous expenses. Uh, so you have to do your math properly before you do. And uh, the insurance is another big factor. The insurance, even if your truck, for example, the truck, this one is sitting. It's been sitting for about uh, two months, but still we are paying insurance on it. So uh, insurance is a fixed cost and there's no way you can go around it. If you do, your company is gonna be, the DOT is gonna be deactivated. But um, this is the way it is, but hopefully the, the, the market will come back and see if we can uh, uh, get it back. But as of now, the things are getting tough for even the straight trucks. I was talking to people about the straight trucks. Uh, they are getting it very, very, very rough. And... Uh, the street trucks these days is like a dollar fifty. The other day I was bidding on a load and somebody was telling me a dollar and thirty five cents for a street truck. And I was like, Are you serious? But uh, well I don't know. Maybe this coming year, uh, things are very slow right now because uh, it's two days to Christmas and things are very, very, very Things are very, very slow. Maybe next year, 2024, maybe things will pick up, maybe they will not, but we are yet to see. But um, I will think positive, like um, the economy and competition wise. Maybe that's what is making uh, things go uh, slow. And also even getting drivers these days is uh, just a challenge. Actually a big challenge to get drivers. But uh, other than that, because if you do the math, 
Of course, you are getting a driver sitting there trucking. Truck stall for quite some time. You don't get a load. And if you don't, there's no income coming in. And if you're a small company, uh, it's not easy to, you know, to maintain the drivers. So it's better to, for the owner himself to uh, drive uh, than hiring um, a driver. Because a driver also has to put food on the table. If they are not paid, they are not going to be working for, you know, to be working for free. They have to get paid. And the brokers out there, I don't know what uh, your comments. If there's any broker who's looking at this video, you guys need to tell us. Um, if there's any customer looking at this, you guys are going to tell us what's going on in the industry. So we can uh, put our drivers on the road and uh, try to stimulate the economy. And uh, so that's what I would think. But uh, what I was thinking is maybe if we know where these customers are, instead of passing through the, the brokers, the mirrorman, you can go straight and uh, to the you know, customer and uh, negotiate if you can get a contract. Uh, you can go there and haul the, the freight for them straight and uh, you can get paid from them. But uh, that one, we have to do some more, more research but as of now that's what i could think of and uh by the way let me know your comments uh what you think and uh, where you are bidding from how much are you bidding per mile is it uh are you bidding a dollar of course you can get a dollar when the mileage is very slow for example if it's like 200 miles somebody might give you 400 dollars to to move the flight but if it's like 800 miles and you bid for a thousand dollar, they say it's too much. I don't know what what they call too much, or they look at the the number, a thousand, but they don't look at the mileage. And that's one of the problems when you are at the load board. Most of the time, I use selectors to bid loads. When you bid, somebody's telling you like, "Oh, this is that is too high. You can't do this." And uh, I don't know, they, they don't look at the mileage or, or something like that. But uh, these brokers and customers got to, to do better uh, in this kind of game. Otherwise, we're going to be having a big, big, big problem. And uh, if and there are some people out there who are bidding very, very, very cheap. I don't know if they are doing a lesson track road or they'll be cutting two loads. And uh, they're the ones putting the market. But um, that's one thing we need to figure out if there's somebody out there who's putting the market. And uh, because if you cut two lots, if there's cutting from Minnesota to Indiana, you get a lot of paying 200 miles or 240 miles, um, you bid a dollar. And then you get another one going to another direction, maybe drop it in Chicago. If they give you a hundred and fifty dollar, you know, so you there's nothing to lose because anyway you are going that way. Uh, probably I don't know if those are the people who are spoiling the market, but we are yet to find out. But other than that, uh, guys, uh, keep uh, uh, bidding, try your luck, and uh, I know today is uh, today is to Christmas. And I'm wishing all the drivers, my customers, and my subscribers, my other supporters who are watching this video. I wish you good luck, uh, Christmas coming, and I hope we will see you in the next video, hopefully next year. Take care, and if you are new to this channel, please uh, subscribe, give us a support. Thank you so much. Hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye, guys.